Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Calculations add-on by WP Forms. The Calculations add-on allows you to create formulas and have your forms perform calculations that can range from something basic to something complex. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure you have the Pro License level or higher of WP Forms and have installed the latest version of the plugin. With that said, let's jump right in. After installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first want to install and activate the Calculations add-on. Go to WP Forms, Add-ons, and find the Calculations add-on, then click Install and Activate. Once the add-on is installed and activated, we're ready to jump into the Form Builder, so let's head over there now. The Calculations add-on also comes with several new form templates you can use to get yourself up and running quickly, so feel free to use them if you prefer. But for this tutorial, we're going to make a form from scratch and go through a few different common form types that would make use of calculations just to get a basic understanding of how the add-on works. Here I've got a form set up with some basic fields like a name, email, and paragraph text field. The calculations add-on will allow you to enable calculations for specific form fields. These fields are single line text, paragraph text, numbers, hidden fields, and single item fields. When you click on any of these fields in the form builder, you can go to the advanced tab to find a toggle called Enable Calculations. The formula builder includes a series of buttons that allows you to add basic arithmetic operators to your formula, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You can also add operators like parentheses to enclose parts of the formula that should be calculated first. Beyond arithmetic operators, You'll also be able to use logical and conditional statements, such as if-else statements, to create more advanced formulas. These are the comparison operators you can use with the calculations add-on. Equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Additionally, you can also use the following three logical operators to create multiple expressions. And, or, not. When writing a formula, the Calculations add-on also has an autocomplete feature that can suggest fields, functions, and operators while you're working to give you a little bit of extra help. You can also click on the Expand Editor button to expand the Formula Builder to give yourself more room when typing. When you've finished writing out your formula, you can click on the Validate Formula link at the bottom of the text editor to make sure your formula is correct and will work properly. If there's a problem, a pop-up will appear letting you know what the mistake is and what line the mistake is located on. We strongly recommend that you check out our calculations formula cheat sheet. You can click on the cheat sheet link on the top right corner of the formula builder to open a new tab that will take you to our doc, which includes a complete list of all the operators, variables, conditional statements, and functions that are allowed when creating calculations. Now that we've covered the basic functions of the formula builder and what operators you can use, Let's get started with our first example. I want to create a form that will tackle a pretty common scenario. On my form, I'm going to be selling t-shirts and I want the customer to be able to specify how many of the shirts they want to buy. What I want my formula to do is to multiply the cost of the shirt by the quantity they want. For this scenario, I'm going to add a multiple item field to my form and change the labels and prices accordingly. Next. I'm going to add a numbers field and rename it quantity so that users will be able to manually input how many shirts they want to purchase. Finally, I'm going to add a single item field and change the label to total. The reason for this is because the total field doesn't support calculations, so I'm going to create the formula in this field instead as it can still serve the same function. Additionally, the formula needs to be created in the field that's going to display the end result. Now that my fields are set up, I'm going to click on the single item field, which has been relabeled as total, and I'm going to click on the advanced tab and click on the enable calculations toggle. In the formula builder, you'll want to create the following formula. The item amount in the multiple items field multiplied by the quantity. To do this, click on the insert field button. As you can see, you'll see two multiple item options on this list. In this example, you'll want to select the option called Multiple Items Amount because the dollar amount assigned to the selected item is what we want multiplied by the quantity entered by the user. 
When the field is added to the formula builder, it'll be represented by this symbol and a number. The number here is actually the field ID for the field you're selecting. In this case, this is the field ID for the multiple items field. Next, either type in or click on the asterisk symbol to add in the multiplication operator, and then click on the insert field button again and select the quantity field. Since this is a pretty straightforward and simple formula, you can click on the validate formula link to make sure it's been written correctly. If you see the green check mark appear, your formula is good to go, and you can click on the preview button at the top of the form builder to test out your new calculation form. The next example is going to add to what we just created. This time, I want to also add the cost of shipping to my formula so that users will see a complete total at the bottom of the form, one that includes the cost of the item multiplied by the quantity they specified and with a flat shipping rate added to it. To do this, I'm going to first add another single item field to my form and change the label to shipping cost. Then, I'm going to click on the total field again to write out my formula. To build this formula, I'm going to take my existing formula and wrap it in parentheses because I want the item cost multiplied by the quantity to be calculated first. Outside of the parentheses, I'm going to add a plus or addition operator and then click on the insert field button to add the shipping cost field from my form. Next, I'm going to validate my formula and since everything looks good, I'm going to save my changes and preview the form to make sure the calculation is working as it should. As you can see, the form is calculating the cost and quantity of the item and adding the flat rate shipping cost on top of it. The next and final example will be a more advanced and complex formula. In this scenario, I want the cost of shipping to change depending on the total value of the item and the quantity. If the cost of the item and quantity is greater than or equal to $100, then the shipping cost will be free or zero. If the cost of the item and quantity together is greater than or equal to $50, then the shipping will be $5. Anything below that will automatically have a $10 shipping fee. To build this formula, we're going to be using an if, else if, else conditional statement. To start this formula, first click on the shipping cost field, go to the advanced tab, and enable calculations. To start this formula, we're going to write it out as follows. If, then open parentheses, the cost of the item multiplied by the quantity is greater than or equal to 100, close parentheses, then colon, and on the next line, write zero for the shipping cost. Please note that the colon after the first statement is required in order for the logic to work. So this statement is basically telling the form that if the total cost of the item multiplied by the quantity is greater than or equal to 100, then shipping is zero or free. In the next line, we're going to write our second statement. Else if, open parentheses, the cost of the item multiplied by the quantity is greater than or equal to 50, close parentheses, colon, then the shipping cost is five. Finally, the last statement will simply read, else, colon, and on the next line, 10. What this is basically saying is that anything else below $50 will automatically cost $10 to ship. To close out the formula, we're going to write end if semicolon. Now that the formula has been written out, validate it to make sure it was written correctly, and if so, we can save our changes. The last step, however, is to also create a formula in the total field so that it'll display the complete cost, the cost of the item, which factors in the quantity, and the cost of shipping. Click on the total field and then create the following formula. Open parentheses, then insert the multiple items amount field, add the multiplication operator, insert the quantity field, then close parentheses, add an addition operator, and insert the shipping cost amount field. Validate the formula, then save your changes, and we can now preview the form. As you can see, the form is now automatically calculating and applying the specified shipping cost based on the cost of the item and the quantity the user is requesting. Then the complete cost is displayed in the total field below. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the calculations add-on by WP Forms. 
The calculations add-on is a powerful and robust add-on, so we highly encourage and recommend you check out our calculations documentation, which includes the cheat sheet, our how-to written doc, and our calculations formula examples guide. You can find the link to all three documents in the video description below. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.